Well, hello there, my fellow noobs. Perpetual Noob here with what should be another exciting episode of our blind run through the old Hunter's DLC of Bloodborne. We are now in the Hunter's Dream. I have consumed a ton of Mountain Dew. So let's go see what new items are available to us from the Bath Messengers. And nothing here in the Chalice Dungeon stuff. Let's see if we've got any new weapons. There's the Beast Cutter. We already picked up a version of that. There's the... There's the Boom Hammer. How many of these do we actually have on hand? I think we have one. Yeah, we got one. There's the Amygdalin Arm. Also wonderful. We acquired that through a very hilarious method a couple episodes ago. Hmm. I'm not... Ooh, you're new. The piercing rifle. Let's see, blood attack 80. Wow. That is a long rifle. A rifle engineered by the Oto Workshop, the precursor to the workshop of the heretical powder kegs. Designed for hunting on narrow streets, this rifle has been optimized to cause perforation wounds, but is unfit for reliably countering attacks. Huh. Cool. I mean, we've got plenty of blood echoes. We'll pick one up. It's a cool idea. And we got a Gatling gun, so we don't need to worry about that. But it looks like... Huh. Looks like the only new item we got is the piercing rifle. Perhaps there's some new, uh, new gear in here somewhere. Nope. Hmm. What about the insight messengers? Either way, that's kind of interesting they made a weapon that they distinctly, they explicitly say... Cool. A uh, new headstone. Huh. That's the one that the doll would tend to in the main game. Hmm. Nice. Nice nice little throwback there. Uh, but with that piercing rifle, you just use it to shoot things. You don't actually use it to ever counter, which is an interesting idea. That they made a weapon that's like that. Hmm. And anything cool here? Nope, nothing new there. Dang, kind of a bit of a letdown, actually. I was really hoping for a lot more. Wow, that ghost is wielding a hell of an item. Oh, new goal. Time to find that item. <laughs> Whatever that item is, time to find it. It was sharp and pointy and looked awesome. Now, you are... You technically look like you're a strength-based weapon. Oh, the boom hammer certainly is a strength-based weapon, that's for sure. C scaling right there. Same with the same with the amygdala arm, which actually has an arcane attack. This one has a fire attack. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, these rifles are kind of silly because none of them... Again, we, we kind of talked about it before, but none of these really matter for us because we have no blood blood tinge scaling so pfft, it'd just be silly hmm start out 92 start out at 90 and 60 you start out at 80 and 40 but you have better oh no you still have really good scaling hmm we've got all these shards we might as well do something with them Oh, we can actually upgrade that one more time. That'd be kind of fun. But that's really just more for... More for the hell of it. Hmm. Let's go with... Hmm. Yeah, let's go with the boom hammer. Let's go with the crazy fire hammer. Why not? Man, that's some... Wow. Wow. That's some good scaling right there. Jeez, B scaling already. Da -da. Blood gems. Let's look at our blood gems. Look at all these blood gems now. Don't need either of those. Though that's interesting that our scaling actually... Or our bonus still goes up. Ooh. That bonus goes up crazy. And do we care if it's cursed because it's a gun? And we're not really using it for 
We're not really... Oh, hello. Wow, we've got three of those? Why not? Let's use them then. But yeah, we wouldn't really care if the scaling or the... It did less damage against some things. We're not really using it for the damage. We're using it purely for the the countering ability, the parry. Uh, I'm not gonna look at these because I don't have. I haven't gone delving into the into the chalice dungeons to actually get the what what is it the 27.2% physical scaling items. So we actually still, geez, we still have a lot of blood echoes. Hang on. Why not? Let's just top off all of our stuff. <laughs> hey, look, delayed Molotovs, delayed rope Molotovs. Let's get all of our poison knives back. Let's get all of our pebbles back. Let's get fire paper. There we go. Now we're pretty much out of money. <laughs> uh, like I said, I consumed a lot of Mountain Dew. So much so, I'm going to be great at Call of Duty from now on. <laughs> so that's one, that's one problem with being in New Game Triple Plus. Is that leveling up our boom hammer to plus six doesn't really matter right now. We would need it to be like plus ten. Yeah, secrets, blah, blah, secrets, secrets. We need to be like plus ten for it to actually be useful right now because everything hits so hard and everything needs to be hit so hard. I mean, let's take a quick look now that we're here. Let's see what kind of, you know, maybe the scaling is good enough. No, not really. Yeah, these things, meh, sadness. They don't hit hard enough. All right, so now we're taking... We're taking our time going this way. Wonder what this is gonna be like. I love it. I love it. Sneak attacks are sneaky. Hmm. Wonder where that other shooty hunter is. Like where does where did they come from? Oh, they were already dead. Well, okay then. You ready to run? Because I'm ready to run. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that weapon swap was so delayed. Did we... I think we actually escaped the Bloodletting Beast, though. That is awesome. Well done, team. <laughs> we did it. Now where... Oh, that's where that guy came from. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm glad that I now know that. Because, man, that guy surprised the hell out of us. Oops. No bird. Go away. I mean, beast cutter weapon, yeah. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> right, I did not score that. That was not the button I wanted. <laughs> well, at least we'll make some blood miles back after this. There we go. Dang it, crow. Damn. Pain in the ass you are. Do you think we can do this? Ah, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> These crows can't fly anyways. We might as well try it. Think? Yeah, I'm realizing they probably can't fly because they're just too heavy. Wow. Yeah. Birds need to be at a particular weight to properly fly. I mean, it's a thing. Our, our falconer friends, they have to keep... Whoa. <gasps> no! 
No, we missed it. Falconer friends, they have to keep their birds at a particular weight to take them out hunting. Gosh darn it. Thank you. I mean, we were going to get him. We were going to get him at some point. Oh! What? <laughs> Hyper armor, everyone. Damn. Well, at least this run back is a lot faster. Because we can actually run past most things. Unlike the other one. This one, we can actually, you know, there are too many enemies that we have to deal with. Most, we can just pass. Which will be great. Like you, I didn't really need to kill you, but I did anyways. You, I can just run by. Thank you. Dogs, one. That dog almost killed me. Can we get past? We probably can't get past this hunter though. We will probably have to wait for them to come after us. But they are attacked, so it should be nice and easy. Whoa! Stop targeting those birds. Gotcha. Now I'm gonna run up and oh god! I have to deal with these birds now. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we did it. <laughs> we got so lucky. Vermin? What the hell is that? But holy shit, did we get lucky. I... I thought we were hoes when I double shot them. I mean, they're a hunter. They're not a zombie. You don't need to worry about that double tap. What the heck is this vermin? Oh. Whoa. Something we can... We can collect a shit ton of. Root of man's impurity writhes within filth. A centipede-like creature discovered on successful hunts by league hunters. Vermin, found hidden within filth, are only seen by League confederates and are the root of man's impurity. The League has assumed the task of finding and crushing all vermin. Perhaps there is some mercy in the madness. Those who wish to see vermin can, and those who choose to are provided with boundless purpose. Sampede vermin. Oh, the League. Okay. So that's not DLC related. That is related to patch 1.07 of this game which included oh hello Ooh. uh we'll look at that in a moment which added the league of extraordinary hunters as i'm calling them for oh we gotta deal with those birds for the main game so that's something that's related to the main game, not to this DLC. But that's an interesting thing that it dropped off that hunter. That hunter was clearly not a tap. But the Gatling gun hunter that we killed did not drop a piece of vermin. Or drop a vermin. I wonder... I haven't really looked into the League of Extraordinary Hunters content yet, so I wonder who is looking for vermin and how do we meet them and how do we get that to them. Let's see. Beast Hunter safe? I'm guessing is the correct pronunciation. It's an odd thing to see that it's it also has a blunt and thrust attack rating. A trick weapon used by the old hunters. A second blade is found inside the curve of the main one. In its initial form, the safe can be wielded like a long, curved sword, but when transformed, its blade is contracted, allowing for quick, repeated stabs. 
Although this trick weapon allows for adaptive combat, it was later replaced by saws and similar weapons that were more effective at disposing of beasts. Hmm. Well, whatever, it looks cool, and that's all that matters. Treat unbreakable will with care. Hmm. Well, this is a hell of a view. But where are we in relation to everything else now? There's a way down. I'm very glad that in the previous episode we decided to check out that door. There's one of those. It is wielding what appears to be a giant gun. <sighs> well, let's get it on with this. My brain was originally going to combine let's get this over with and let's get on with this to let's get it on. That is absolutely some sort of crazy cannon thing. Not the first time we've encountered such a weapon. Oh my god, that actually clipped us. Hey, Madman's knowledge, that's fun. Oh, hi. Thanks, game. Love you, baby. <laughs> this setup is nasty. And I want to run away. Oh, can't run away that way. I want to run away for a moment. I wish to better... Wish to better understand what we're doing. Also, I want to get some poison darts. If we can poison this guy, I think we'll be in some great shape. Oh boy. We could not poison them. Not with those darts anyways, not with only four. Maybe we needed five. Maybe you just can't poison them. Certainly no reason- oh gosh. Well, let's try this instead. Let's try the old... Oh, the tried and true... Oil urn into Molotov combo. And that's how much damage that did. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, not worth. Whoa. Oh, hello. Give me back my health. Oh, no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Well, with that, with that really nasty hunter out of the way, we're past that bit, we can quickly run by all of this instead. <laughs> we can avoid most of this. Again, I love this run back so much more than the previous one. Uh, yep, bye. And bye to all of you. And bye to you. Ow. Ow. Okay. <laughs> we're safe now. Let's just get all the birds down here. Whoa. You don't see that? <laughs> Gotta watch out for the minions. Those minions are gonna, you know, lose you the game, buddy. Actually, now I'm really concerned because I might not be able to get to them either without killing all of these crows first. And that's annoying. Or that will be annoying if that's what happens. Let's go. And here come all the birds. Stupid fat crows. I don't remember the things much in their story. I kinda did. The birds have to be at yeah, a particular weight to fly at uh, optimum like, efficiency and stuff. Still very curious as to how we get to that. Mm. Well, we might as well you know, slow everything back down once we're here. I think, I mean, I think we can do this. I think it's possible. You know, maybe we can try to handle this like it's the, because what's the range on that gun? Not long enough, you know. Oh boy. That was dumb. It's dumb. That's all I wanted was this guy to show up. So now we can try to handle this. Oh, haha, <laughs> blow that goes, right. <laughs> well done. Now we can handle this like the Taurus demon the first time you fight them. Oh, actually, let's try to get some, try to get some of these up too. Let's see if we can actually poison. Oh, come on. Let's try to handle this like the Taurus demon the first time you fight them. In Dark Souls. 
Back when the Taurus Demon is actually a boss, and before the Taurus Demon gets relegated to being just a, you know, very, oh, that was a very wrong item, I did not want to use that item. I did not want to use that one. Oh well. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. Oh, good job. <laughs> okay, let's try. <laughs> that kind of looks funny as a subtitle. It's time to try a new tactic. That new tactic? Just run by them. Just run by them. Try to get by them both. That's all. It's, uh, you know, some high level stuff right there. High level tactics. About to see some high level Bloodborne right here. Can you please get away from me? Thank you. That's my idea, at least. At this point, those guys are very difficult to defeat. You know, they're very strong. They hit very hard. You know, I'm not sure if we can defeat one. Ow! I'm not sure if we can defeat one with the other one there. You know, kind of holding us in with those damn cannon shots. You know, that's, that's a tough part of this fight to consider. So I don't know. So I say, let's try running. Let's try running. Oh, 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 that was hilarious. <laughs> oh man, that point blank shot was hello. Oh God. What the? No. Oh, it's an eye scooper. Yikes. Uh, hello? This is very creepy. Whoa! Oh, and you could actually kill it. Well. I kind of didn't expect to be able to do that. Oh, jeez. Freaking crows. They are just... Man, they are just everywhere. Whew. Scaring the hell out of me. Okay. Let's just take the rest of that. Wow. There's a lot of blood vials there. You know, we also learned a good thing about this giant guy over here. Is that in addition to just using uh, using that cannon as a gun, they will smash you in the face with it. I really, really want to be able to beat those guys. But I know that they're, they're infinitely spawning, as evidenced by the church one. You know? Which is sad. And unfortunate. Oh, hello. If you are telling the truth, we will rate your n note as fine. But if you are lying, oh no, my hopes and dreams. Uh-oh, that's two. Whoa, check it out. We're in the tomb of... Oh, yay. Wonderful. Well, we're in the tomb of Odin. Or part of it, or... The piece that's kind of the side of it. That's really cool. We're... Okay. Um, so we're now right here. So who said bonfires? You did. You get a cookie. And where's that other note that said bonfires? I want to give them a cookie. I also like this because... Oh, cookie. And you get a cookie. Everybody's getting a cookie. Well, now we've lit that bonfire, that lamp. Oh, what? Oh, God. <gasps> what did it just do to us? Oh, <laughs> it murdered us. <laughs> the execution. Wow, that enemy was freaking savage with that. Now, anybody else find the uh, tracking on that? 
to be ridiculous. Were we not behind that, this guy, when that happened? Huh? I think we're behind this guy. And then all of a sudden, nom, 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 nom. Explosions, explosions. Let's see what kind of damage we can do with this. Fair amount more. Whoa, shit. Whoa, shit. Whoa, shit. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Ha <laughs> I got, I won't lie, I'm only doing this. Hey, we got them back. But I was, hey, Quicksilver bullets. But I was definitely only doing that because we got, we're right next to a lantern. If we were not right next to a lantern, that wouldn't have been a thing. Now let's see what you were guarding. I mean, we're doing a lot of damage to them. Oh, but s oh, but they're doing a lot of damage to us too. <laughs> uh, well, let's see if those if those guys are actually infinite. Re yeah, I thought they'd be infinite respawns. I mean, that is a little upsetting because they're so dangerous. <laughs> But I do want to know what that that other one is guarding, the one with the axe. Because I believe it is guarding something. I believe it in my bones. And we're doing... Again, we're doing a fair amount of damage to this guy. Oh boy. You know, friendly fire should be a thing. You should be... That guy should be able to blow himself up with his cannon. Everybody else can blow themselves up with their own rockets. Why does this guy get to be special? Whoa. Oh! <laughs> oh god. That was just a bad shot. <laughs> I mean, jeez. That happened right in the face. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh. This guy is ornery. <laughs> oh, come on. That wasn't a good... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> we made it. Ooh. Yeah, now that I know that we can do this to them. Oh, beautiful. That was beautiful. That, you know, attempt at a chain backstab. Alright, what were you protecting over here, big guy? Reeks of item. That's good to hear. Let's go back to our... Let's go back to our main... Kind of our main weapon here. Cool. A full butcher's set. That sounds awesome. You know what? We'll read about the butcher's set, and that will be... That'll wrap it up for episode 6 of our blind run through the old hunters. We actually have a couple of options. We can either, you know, by the end of this, we can either continue out that way or we can explore down here under the tomb and see what we can find. Either way, I'm pretty excited. So let's take a look at this gear, this butcher's gear. Maybe it'll be some really good stuff, too. Still got to find the constable's hat, too. Hmm. Where? Wow. Oh, there we are. 
oh, I was like, why are the numbers not different? Aren't we wearing? Why are they not comparing? All right. Stats, though, look kind of kind of sad. Uh, okay. They're not, you know, they're not terrible. Anyway. Mask of the Madaras Twins. Denizens of the Forbidden Woods, likely belonging to the Order of the Two. Oh, liking... <laughs> likely belonging to the Older of the Two. That makes way more sense than how I first read this. The twins grew up in silent kinship with a poisonous snake. Eventually they learned human ways and became hunters. When they discovered vermin even in their beloved snake, the younger brother is said to have murdered the older. Mask of the Madaras twins. Huh. Garb of the Madaras twins. Denizens of Forbidden Woods likely belonging to the older of the two. Both the twins became hunters and brought back and di dissected their beast prey in order to support the villagers in their forbidden research. Gloves of the Madaras twins. Both the twins became hunters, brought back and dissected their beast prey. Hmm. The twins grew up in silent kinship with a poisonous snake. I'm going to need to take a lot of time to think about those descriptions, because they're that description of these Madaras brothers. Madaras brothers? Hmm. Anywho, <laughs> that was that was our sixth little jaunt out into out into the old hunters DLC, and we are learning that running past things is probably a safer bet in many cases. But we have found another lamp, so thankfully run backs shouldn't be nearly as long or comical anymore. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I, I hope you all had a good time. I know I did. I am the perpetual noob, and I can't wait to hang out with you all next time.